Hello again. In this video, we'll have a look at how to use this free Gantt chart template on Excel. Uh, when you open it, it looks like this, and it says just follow the three steps in yellow. So the, the first thing we do is we set the first date of the project, and you just type that, that in into date format. And then on the date scale, this is our, our uh, Gantt chart down here, is this going to go up days, weeks, months, etc. And that's a drop down menu, so you just pick the, the scale of the dates you're going to include. Then this is an optional step, but if you want to have team members listed, you just go through and just enter who's going to be involved in the project, and there's up to 15 options there. And then you go through and put in your dates and uh, how long things are going to take. So I've done a little bit of this. This start date is picked up automatically up here. So if I, I change that to February, it's automatically changed here. So everything else is adjustable. Um, but that start date is set there. So you can see I'm setting up the project at the top. Okay, so and then the dates are produced automatically. So they're going up by one day. If I make that weeks, that goes up by seven days, etc. So I just turn that back to days. And it's all drop down menu driven. Um, so first task, I've got the project plan. How long does it take to do? It's from one day from the second to the third. If I make that a bit longer, make that five days, that then goes out to the, to the, to the seventh. Okay, so I just automatically adjust that. If I want this second one interactive, what I do is I do that a formula to say this starts one day after. Okay, so you can see uh, if I change this time frame, that should change and the next one will change as well. So let's make that three and you can see that gets pushed out. If we think we can do that a lot faster, it comes forward. So those two are tied to each other because I'm using a formula there, which I've mentioned there. Uh, and you've got to think about this is in in days or weeks. So if I if I had a, a week scenario here, that refers to one week. You don't need to put seven. You, you just align it to the the scale that you're using. Okay, so that is fixed. That is based on the calculation of when you start and how long you need, because you normally think about how long it's going to take rather than, oh, when do I, when do I have to think by, finish it by. Then you just list whatever the tasks are. I've just done something simple. And then these two columns are optional. Uh, you can run the, the, the um, run it without it. So if I take this out, we still have the time frame there. Uh, but it has a blue color, not a line to anybody. You then pick, if I if I make this somebody else, the color changes. So each time I, I pick somebody, the color will change. Let me put that back to full team. And the, the, the boxes that are in, it doesn't change, but the color coding does. And I can also indicate how much is progressing. Uh, the default is not started. If I go to 25, you can see some dots are appearing, 50 more dots, 75 have more dots, and then when it's completed, it's like that. So the full team here, if I, if I bring this one to equal that, and then make that not started, you can see the blue is still there. So each individual can check their colors and check when they've got something due. And then you can have a look at the degree of shading. If I come over here from 25%, 50, 75%, 100. So you can see how far we are progressed. And, and, and basically uh, that, that's it. If you want to scroll across and look, I've got here, you go to H28, which is H28. There you go to view, uh, freeze panes and click that. And that means that the titles will stay there and we go down the dates will go there. So we can go across 50 and down 100 tasks, uh, 200 tasks, 
and if you wanted to reformat that it says you just go into the to the number here and select you can select date or in custom you've got um, uh, various date options as well so if you just wanted to reformat that that's without the year away we go I'll just undo that so that's pretty well it uh, if, if, if something goes wrong you can then change the dates you can reassign it to somebody color will change etc uh, update the progress and 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 change the dates okay so that's i'll change it down here so you can see it uh so that's it happy project planning